guys uh, just don't know what to say sometimes. Um, it's kind of like a bad history cycle that just keeps repeating itself. Uh, scalpers or resellers at it again. Why is there so much demand for such little supply? Analog, it's been a really hard time again for many retro games fans to try to get their hands on your high quality retro gaming products. The Super NT has been an absolute nightmare for a lot of gamers. I know there's a lot of people, like myself included, that had their name put down, like you sign up for the notifications to let us know when that stock's going to be available in future. So based on this, Analog must get a reasonable idea on what the demand is going to be. At the same time, they know there's going to be the bots, there's going to be the scalpers trying to buy as many different products as they can. And yes, they're already listed on eBay for absolute ridiculous prices, like two to three times more what they are to actually purchase them from Analog Direct. Now, before we really get into this, I do just want to say, like, I love Analog. I'm a massive fan of high quality companies that are making these high end products to help us preserve and enjoy and output our retro games in the best possible way in 2021. Now, a lot of this stuff is business. So with a company, you, you're not gonna wanna make more than you need for the demand because you don't really want to have product sitting around. Um, and it is a business model, so you're, you're investing in stock to sell that stock to make a profit. And when you're a smaller company, it's not right to kind of give them too much of a hard time because, let's face it, when you're a small business, you have to protect your business. If your business isn't going to profit in the right way, then you don't survive. But at the same time, guys, we've all seen the Nintendo business model over the years, and I'm pretty certain it has got worse. Ever since, like, it's been more noticeable since the Amiibos came out. There's been so much demand for this stock, and they know that. So it's like they keep the supply in smaller numbers, like they've done with this whole Killing Mario off. It's, it's creating that hype, that drama, that drive. If you guys don't buy this now, like one batch or limited batches expiring at a certain point, you're never going to be able to pick it up and you're going to be in the hands of the scalpers and that's a place that no one wants to be. Now, I don't want this video to come across that I'm like being angry in any way. It's, it's, it's a passionate discussion about the said topic of supply, demand, true, true fans that have been on waiting lists really wanting to purchase something direct, having that opportunity just killed because you know a, a very limited release window opens and it's just shut down instantly with hundreds or thousands of fans sitting in the online queue trying to get an item through the checkout and then the opportunity is just taken away just like that. So there's people that have been waiting for like a year or I don't know maybe even longer for a company like Analog to produce their next run of Super NTs and Guys, I experienced this firsthand because I wanted to see what this was going to be like. So I was ready at 8 a.m. in the queue, ready to try to secure a pre-order to get my hands finally on a Super NT. And it was absolutely as painful as I expected it to be. So like with many of us, I was ready in the queue at 8 a.m. I had my browser open. I had two mobile phones on the go, Ems was helping me. I kind of had a feeling it was gonna be bad, but at the same time, didn't really think. I don't know, I, I kind of thought maybe the demand won't be as big as it can be for things because they're quite expensive products. But, oh man, it was, it was absolute pain. And I know there'll be many people watching this video that also went through the pain and are absolutely gutted that they weren't able to secure a pre-order for something that they really genuinely want and they really want to genuinely support analog and they just didn't have the chance to buy one and now will there be future stock we often hear with these things especially from analog that it's going to be one final run or this is going to be the last 
set of orders and we just don't know if they're genuinely going to make another run of this product. I like to think if there's the demand there and it seems like there is, why would they not do it again? Or do they just want us to think for the time being that that was the only opportunity because like Nintendo, they get us all there clicking buy, 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 buy now or it's gone forever and it really drives instant sales and as a business tactic, it really works. So the experience of trying to pick this up, clicking on the browser, on the add to cart was just absolutely, absolutely dead on the desktop. Um, it was doing nothing. People didn't know whether to go and refresh the page, whether you, you do just keep genuinely hammering the button and it might eventually do something. But I found the experience very different on a mobile phone. You'd actually go add to cart it would launch the car and it would tell you that there was an issue. So clearly there was thousands of people trying to grab different versions of the Super NT model, probably all trying to go for the same model. So at least with a mobile phone, you are getting that error message that, okay, there's a problem here. You can cancel and you can try again. So a mobile phone literally allowed you to try every few seconds to keep securing an order. And I kid you not, you could do this for like 10 minutes solid and potentially not get a chance to have one added to your basket at all. Now, I did have some luck. We did get one into the basket. I know there's many other people that did get one into the basket and they, they were left, I've seen comments of up to half an hour with it kind of looking to process the order. And by the time it finally gets to what would be the payment or the payment complete, you could be greeted with that out of stock message. Now, thankfully we got through, I completed and I finalized my pre-order for the Super NT. But the whole point of this video is to discuss this as a problem. I think celebrating getting one is for another video. Um, this is about the problem for the people that haven't been able to get one and the problem in general of why do we have to go through this rigmarole? There's got to be many other better ways for people that genuinely want one to be able to get their hands on one. And from some of the comments that I've seen from people on social media, those that were like waiting half an hour with it trying to process in their basket, at the end they get that out of stock message. Well, if like me, you were on multiple devices, I kind of got the vibe that within about 12 to 15 minutes, they were all blimmin' sold out, gone and done, like done deal. Because on my phone, I managed after the first order just to kind of get a feel for what was happening. I was checking out one of the other editions and then suddenly they were adding through to the cart and I was getting the message saying that they're out of stock, it was done. And I just find it really frustrating that there was many other people that um, I kind of feel for them. Like if you're stuck for a further 10 or 15 minutes, you're trying for your whole morning to get this. And from, from what I've seen, if they were out of stock within 12 to 15 minutes and there was people that were trying for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, what a waste of time, what a broken, overloaded system. And it's gonna happen with websites when there's a lot of demand, when when we're forced to all go on in that one 10 minute window while they're gone. But you know, there's people sitting there, hopefully watching that load screen for over half an hour to be told at the end that they're out of stock. Like why, why were they not reserved for those people that got them into the car? They should have had a chance to be able to buy them. I understand there's traffic problems, but Guys, it's a problem, and that's what I'm saying. This is a problem. I don't have the answers. Who, who has the answers? We can have ideas. Um, let me know down in the comments because it's really important, and I think the more we discuss these kind of topics, um, and companies like Analog might get to actually see some of the frustrations in the community. I mean, I know they're seeing some frustrations on social media because they're getting a lot of comments where people are telling them about these experiences. But the more that we discuss these things, hopefully one day maybe the voices will get heard. I mean, we know from some of the comments that they've made that they were putting some actions in to try to reduce or eliminate the chance of bots being able to snag all the orders. but. It just, it just wasn't enough. Um, analog stuff is amazing and clearly the retro gaming scene are, are saying that these products are amazing, we want them. There's a lot of demand there still for this, um, but there's gotta be a better way, guys. There's, there's, there's just gotta be a way that, you know, why do we have to go to eBay and pay $400, $600? Um, you know, why? Why can we not order direct from a company and support them and, and pay the retail price? 
it's just a bit broken it feels a bit broken to me and i'm sure it feels broken to you as well but i don't know what what, what do you think do, does anything that i've covered in this video strike tr a truth with you does it strike a nerve is there something that you've got to say that you need to get off your chest put your comments and ideas down in the comments guys because i think if i get a chance to like pick up some of the comments and some of the thoughts from you guys you know maybe i can put that into a subsequent video maybe analog will see this i don't know i'm sure there's many other larger channels that are going to cover a similar topic i wanted to get my thoughts out there what do you think do you agree do you have any better ideas for this problem? Do you not even think there's a problem? I don't know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Did you get a super NT? Are you gutted that you didn't? What's your thoughts on this? Let me know guys, um, I'm feeling for those that have got a lot of frustration over this because I know if you've been waiting to have the chance to get one of these for such a long time and it's taken away from you, like it's, it's pretty gutting, like let's be honest. Um, anyway, we know we know there's much bigger problems in the world, but hey, we're here to talk retro gaming. It's a highly relevant topic. I don't know if I necessarily meant to put so much dynamite into the video, but you know maybe if we push the plunger down together, it might explode and something might happen from it. I don't know. I wanted to get my thoughts out there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, if you like this video, if you want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, mate.